Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, and I hope you all are doing well. Today I want to encourage you guys, especially the suffering saints, to give you hope and help you to understand that the season you're in right now has a tremendous purpose, but it is just one season. You know, God willing, that there are many more seasons to come, but I want you to understand that it will pass and that God has a will and purpose for your life. And I want to share my testimony and I already shared the season in my life where it was very difficult. It was like a six month period, but I want to expand it a little bit for you guys from beginning to now so that you can see the hand of God um, incorporating everything for my good, for his glory and the good of others like yourself. And God is very likely doing that with you in your life. You know, if you're a child of God and especially if you've been walking with him and wanting to be used by him, then he is very likely using this time, this season in your life to prepare you for his use. And there are others like the Apostle Paul where he didn't even ask for it, but God came and used him anyways, prepared him and used him. So I wanna share kind of from the beginning, um, I won't go into all the details from when I was saved. So I was saved at 24, I'm 35 now. And ever since I got saved, I've had a strong desire to bear fruit for God to serve him. So I walked with him, you know, just reading the word and praying for the first couple of years. But later I've had a strong desire to work for him. And I did this by volunteering at church, you know, a couple things. Um, I joined the praise team. I set up Bible studies, actually multiple and prayer meetings. And every single Bible study and prayer meeting I set up, they would eventually just fail after a short amount of time. And the way I handled that was just to try again. And it kept on failing. And um, then I enrolled into Moody Bible Institute to go to seminary there to be better prepared to be used by God. And I really thought God was leading me into that. And he might have been um, to teach me maybe about failure. But um, after a class and a half, I dropped out. It was the workload was too much for me uh, to hold to a full-time job and be a family man. And so I dropped out. And I remember, and this is like five years, uh, maybe yeah, about five years ago or so, I, I just went to my closet to pray like usual, and I was just discouraged. I said, God, I'm trying to serve you and bear fruit, but I've just failed at everything. I don't know what to do, so God, I give up. I'm trying to figure out what you want me to do. So you do what you want with me. And I prayed this prayer for about three months saying, God, let your will be my will and just live your life in and through me. I prayed that uh, very regularly and with all my heart. And after that three months of praying like that, I spiraled into, I like to call it the dark night of my soul, that really hard trial. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail there. It's, It'll take too much time, but you know, real quick, it was just a time of severe depression, anxiety, panic attacks, suicidal, fearful thoughts, and insomnia. And uh, through that process, God broke me. And breaking is an understatement, as some of you guys are experiencing. I was pulverized into just fine dust. I had no strength to do anything anymore. And it was at that point when I came to the end of myself that I really knew that I was helpless and I needed Jesus. It was him or nothing. And when I started learning these truths, um, it's kind of like being in a pit with fire, just burning you and you're trying to jump out and you're so desperate, your nails are scratching against the cement and you can't get out. But when the truth comes to you and you realize that these flames are for your good, that they're refining you and that it is out of love that you're in this situation, you stop jumping and you sit down in the fire and you accept it, saying, God, I don't understand why I have to suffer like this, but I trust you that these flames are for my good. All the pain and suffering is for my good. And then you just rest in the fire. And pretty soon the fire dies down and the hand of the Lord lifts you up out of that pit. And when you're out, you are a different person. I was transformed by that experience. I learned many things and received many gifts, but the greatest gift that God gave me through that trial was the faith to be able to totally surrender, trust in him and rest in him. 
And so through that, I learned that no matter what comes my way in this life, Jesus is enough. He is my strong tower, my refuge, and all I need is Jesus. And I know that, and I knew it. And what happened to the trial was it was up here and it moved down to here. And so I have peace. I have peace in God. I'm able to just surrender it all. And now whatever happens, a difficult thing, I just need to be touched a little bit by the hand of God into any kind of, uh, I, I surrender much easier. I trust in him much easier and I'm able to find rest in him. So after this trial, um, I remember I was set free about six months and my counselor, Dr. Woodward, and now he's my professor, you know, training me to be a counselor, he reached out to me and he just called and said, Aaron, I wanna invest in you to become a counselor. So Khaled and I, um, we were kind of surprised. We never considered that option and we prayed about it and we decided to go forward with the training. So Dr. Woodward um, first sent me a book to read. It's kind of an introduction to counseling with you know, Christian counseling, but in the type that Grace Fellowship International counsels. And I received a book um, and Dr. Woodward said he bought it from Amazon from a random seller. And this is the book that I got. And if you look at it, you could tell that it's very old. I mean, it looks like a, almost like an antique kind of book. And I will show you the first page, but there is an address on there, so I don't wanna put that on the internet. But when you go to the first page, a name is stamped on there, Donald E. Higgins, with a Canadian address. So, um, Donald Higgins is a man that I was listening to. His testimony was so powerful during my hardest time. I listened to it many times and got hope from it because he went through such a similar struggle like I did, but it was 30 years ago about. He lived in Canada and he was an accountant like I was and he even came here to Indianapolis to receive Grace Fellowship International counseling. There was a man here at that time and I just felt like God is, are you telling me you're gonna save me like you saved him? And here I was holding his old copy. It's just amazing. And so I know God sent this to me. So I read this, you know, with a lot of uh, zeal. And in the very first chapter, it says something along the lines, God is calling you into counseling if these two things happen. Number one, God will send hurting people to you. And number two, God will provide miraculous results. Well, no hurting people were coming to me. It just wasn't happening. And for Don Higgins, once he came out of his fire and he was healed, people were just knocking at his door. Like one couple came just driving 300 miles uh, or so, saying that God impressed on their heart that Don could help them. So, you know, he was very surprised and they come in and he counseled them and they will be set free. All these people just started to come to him. People at his church, they were impressed on his, their hearts to go to him for help. And eventually so many people came that he actually had to, he quit as an accountant and became a counselor full time. And he went into a long and fruitful ministry in counseling. So nothing was happening for me. And so I just started to think, you know, maybe God sent me this book to let me know that he doesn't plan to use me for counseling. So that's what I thought. And I moved, we changed churches at this time. And the church that we, we are now attending is classified as a mega church. It's called College Park Church and it's a very good church. And they have a counseling ministry. So I'm like, oh, this is for sure uh, what God wants me to do. So I went there and I talked to the person in charge of counseling and he simply was not interested in me joining the team. I, I still don't know why, but I accepted it from God saying, God, if you wanted me to join that team, you would have made it happen. And so honestly, I was a little discouraged. I thought that's where God was leading me, but it wasn't. So um, I moved on. And then a few months passed by again, and I kept on thinking, there must be people who are suffering right now as I did. I just kept thinking that, and my heart started aching for these people. Um, I don't know who they were 
it was it's you guys and I just grabbed my iPhone and I recorded my testimony I said God it's yours if this is your will you take it and do whatever you want with it I don't know the first thing about um, advertising videos on YouTube or actually even how to upload videos on YouTube so you, know, you could just figure it out real quick though on Google and I uploaded it and I started to get comments from people saying that they were helped and uh, God started to actually bring people these you know hurting people to me through email the comment section and by talking on the phone and then I started to see the hand of God in this and as a, I made more videos you know you guys were telling me you were being helped by it which is why I started to make more videos and oftentimes I felt just a strong thing like as I'm reading the Bible or listening to music or something or a sermon like I need to share this message and so that's how I come up with a lot of these videos and these days it's when people um, are asking kind of similar questions through emails or comments that I'll bring up a new topic but anyways it's been a year now and I think I made uh, over 20 videos now by trusting in God and precious testimonies took one of my main testimony shared it on his um, channel as well and it was like a total views of more than 28,000 views you know and I don't know the first thing about advertising on YouTube I was never trained to be a counselor I never received education in that field and you know not seminary either except for that class and a half so it's so obvious that it is the hand of God and oh I forgot to mention the miraculous results that I've been seeing especially like in the last maybe four or five months where people have been and I appreciate you guys letting me know how God's working in you guys because it just gives me so much encouragement I praise God for you guys and people are getting healed they're finding peace and being delivered and there's a lot of people in the process now that are being healed and a lot of times people you know go to Grace Fellowship International um, and being introduced to them you know through these videos and they receive awesome counseling and some have been miraculously set free and you know even some suicidal brothers and sisters of mine came and they seemed on the edge but after a few days you know I was just sometimes just watching the videos or we're talking they God injects hope into them and some of them are even ministering to others so it is 100% obvious that it is the hand of God and for the first time in my life, you know, I'm bearing this amount of fruit. And so in my previous, you know, before I went through the dark night of the soul, I think I had little fruit, very little fruit to show. Um, some of them was very precious fruit where uh, God used me to lead some people to Christ. And that is, that's really good. But this season in my life, after this season of preparation slash suffering, I've never expected to see this kind of fruit. And it is all, it is not because of the effort that I put in, like I tried to do earlier with starting Bible study and everything, but it was by surrendering, trusting and resting in God and waiting on him to do whatever he wants. And so when you surrender, trust and rest, you're out of the way. It's that the Holy Spirit can manifest himself in and through you to minister to others, to build up the church. And then he does it all. And you keep on seeing the reinforcement of the scriptures, you know, like Galatians 2.20, that it is him, it's his life. He's doing what he wants. And yeah, another amazing thing is YouTube, you know, allows us to connect with brothers and sisters, not just in our country, but all around the world. That is just beautiful. We're so connected by Christ in us. It's not by skin color or just any what country you live in. You know, I've been connecting with people in the Philippines, Germany, Australia, um, Netherlands, just all over. And it's just amazing. It's Christ in us that connects us. And when we hear um, God's word and encouragement, we recognize it. And God is working mighty things. So I need to reiterate <clears throat> that God does have a will and purpose for your life. And what you're going through now is very crucial and important to prepare you for his use 
But keep in mind, it is but one season in your life. Then, you know, God willing, there's many seasons. And so don't be discouraged. And this, no matter how intense it is right now, God will rescue you. He's, he's preparing you. That's what he's doing. He is building his army up so that we can be sent out, many of us, to break every chain and free the oppressed. And for me, I think I'm, God is heading me towards counseling. You know, that's my best guess right now, but who knows what God has in store. And same for you. Who knows what God has in store for you? You know, you could become, God might use you to be a counselor, pastor, missionary, a songwriter. I don't know. He, he's creative and he knows where everyone's needed to build up the church. So... I hope you know this. I hope you could step back a little bit from, I know it's hard, from your time of suffering and see the work of God in your life. Look back to when you were saved and you could see his faithfulness. You know, when you intervene to certain times and this is one season in your life where it will probably help you and build you up the most up till now. And God uh, will use everything you're going through, not only for your good, but the good of other believers. If I didn't go through what I did, I wouldn't be making this video right now. I wouldn't even know how to help anybody in the field of mental anguish. So God knows what he's doing. And don't rely, let's not rely on our effort or strength or expertise. It's God who gives us everything we need to do the will and purpose he had planned for us from the beginning. So hang on, endure, and find joy in knowing that these flames are for your good and he is preparing you for the next season in your life. God bless you.